Kessler asked me to hold it while he adjusted some cables during a test. I could feel it pulsing, like something was inside and trying to get out. It's not right. And everyone wants it. That big lightning strike of yours should destroy its protective container. Then we can blow the sphere sky high. <sighs> How many lives has that thing destroyed? Corrupted? I can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. But it gave me powers once before. If I use it again, it could make me twice as strong. And then no one would dare challenge me. Trish's crumpled body flashes through my head. I think of Amy, Zeke, and I hit that sphere with everything I've got. But something goes wrong. The race field cracks open, creating a vortex of energy. John's pulled in, and it tears him apart. And I run. John and the race sphere are gone, reduced to ashes. Nothing went according to plan. At least the race sphere is out of the picture. I'm disappointed, Cole. The race sphere was the catalyst of your powers, and it could have strengthened you even more, but you rejected it. I, for one, wouldn't have done the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm not like you. It took me a while, but I finally realized that this isn't about me, about what I want. Not anymore. It's about keeping this city safe. And once you're dead, no one will ever threaten it again. Please help! Excuse that me! Remains to Please be seen. help! Have mercy Meet and me help at the us! Staten building. And here we are, back where it all started. I was so worried that you weren't gonna live through the blast. But you were fine. More than fine, actually. I remember your voice now. You were there after the bomb went off. I've always been there, Cole. Every step of your life.
the daughter he never had. Did you know that? He couldn't wait for you to marry her. Son of a bitch. early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the race sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day, when he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched. Unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person. That he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be. Going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. All for the common good. Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away, the rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler, but when the time comes, I will be ready. I thought this would be the end. That once Kessler and the race sphere were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back. That the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here, they love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. And Zeke, I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone. <laughs>